We here at Outside Extra are experts when it comes to dancing, as this archive footage shows. Ooh, I remember that being better. OK, clearly dancing is hard. And just because you're a video game hero who is otherwise incredibly physically capable doesn't mean you'll automatically be adept at tearing it up on the dance floor. Oh dear, here are the heroes who couldn't dance to save their lives, but we're spoilers and dad dancing from the following games. Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you for all your loyalty and support. Saving the universe can be a pretty stressful task, but to quote the great philosopher Lady Gaga, just dance, gonna be okay. Da do do, just dance, spin that record, babe. Da do do. And this is a philosophy that Mass Effect's Commander Shepard took to heart, happily busting moves as often as they bust up Reapers. However, it seems like they're a lot better at the latter, and it looks like there was no time for practice amongst the fighting and dying and being resurrected, as we saw zero improvement in Mass Effect 2. But that didn't mean that Shepard couldn't get overconfident. Wanna dance? Watch this. No thanks. I'm happy with just me and the music. Weird, I thought that doing big windmill arms was going to be a surefire hit. It's so much of a joke that in the Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC, Shepard's dancing is put in the spotlight for all the crew to judge, and it leaves much to be desired. Has she always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. Hey, that's my girlfriend. Ah. <laughs> oh. Damn it, I almost kept it straight. What is she doing with her arms? Yes, despite saving the universe, Shep is not immune to criticism. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. <laughs> but there is one crew member whose tutelage can improve things. Dance the tango with Garrus, and Shepard will draw the right kind of attention for once. That, my friend, is the power of the ultimate space boyfriend, Garrus. If pop culture has taught us nothing else, it's that vampires are cool and sexy, and cool and sexy. And this is certainly the case in Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, unless you choose to be a gross sewer-dwelling Nosferatu. The state of you. Should you sensibly pick one of the many sexier vampire clans, you might want a night on the town, and why not? You are, after all, a super hot superhuman member of the undead. And where better to show yourself off than at one of LA's many vampire frequented nightclubs? Here you can find yourself some fellow blood sucking friends, chat up one of the human customers for a bite to eat, or show off your presumably amazing moves on the dance floor. of you also. And so we learn that when you were turned into a vampire, despite upgrades to many of your seductive powers, dancing was clearly left off the list. Instead of being graceful and alluring, vampire dancing has you flailing your arms like you're being attacked by invisible bees. But wait, perhaps this is a clever stratagem so as not to make yourself too irresistible and thus draw too much attention to yourself. After all, to preserve the masquerade is the first priority of a good kindred, lest you incur the wrath of the Camarilla. For a beast I am, lest a beast I become you are. Vampires are cool. Do my next move, Gunga Bob. I just got me off here for Magically Yutted. Yeah. Judging by Mario's vertical leap, it's clear that he's never skipped leg day. Must have thighs of steel. 
Upon seeing the trailer for Super Mario Odyssey, we couldn't wait to get Mario putting those legs to good use, grooving around New Donk City. And after Mario gathers up a swinging band for Mayor Pauline, we knew he would surely be dancing about the place, showing off some cool footwork. Uh, okay, okay, this is probably just a warm up. Any moment now. Here, here come, here come the moves. is that? It turns out that despite the athleticism on show in the trailer, when it comes to dancing Mario is all elbows and his feet hardly leave the floor. It's less of a dance move and more the shuffle from side to side of someone who desperately needs the loo part way through a long journey. Look Mario, I told you to go before we left. The game's called Odyssey for a reason. More fool us for expecting Broadway grade choreography because you need only look to the Just Dance series for more evidence of Mario's two left feet. Because in a wild overestimation of his dancing prowess, Mario agreed to a cameo. Oh my god Mario, what is it with you and the elbows? Can't you think of anything else to do with your arms? Anything other than that? Oh, it would seem your reputation doesn't do you justice. Rock and roll legend Chuck Berry once made the request, Johnny B. Good. Actually, it's a name, Shh. Johnny B. Good. Shh. It's just, it's just Shh. as inaccurate. Shh. We can only assume that this totally real request was made in the direction of Johnny Gat of the Saints Row series. And when it comes to being good at gangland bossing, Johnny has nailed it. But, as you might imagine, being a crime boss doesn't leave a lot of time for classical dance training. What with all the murder and such. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. At the end of Saints Row 4, Johnny Gat's dancing <coughs> ability is put on display. See, in a nice curtain call, each of the remaining Third Street Saints dance towards the camera, showing off their signature moves. However, when it comes to Johnny Gat, he... well, see for yourself. In a bizarre set of clumsy and uncoordinated movements, Johnny Gat kicks his legs off to the side and jerks his arms like someone put the hustle through a meat grinder. This is technically an homage to an episode of Seinfeld, but we're chalking this up to Johnny being bad. That's the opposite of what Chuck Berry wanted. Of all the Overwatch heroes, Soldier 76 has the most, shall we say, Big Dad energy, or BDE. This is exemplified by the stark contrast between Soldier 76's dancing, which we'll get to in a minute, and the various sick moves on display in the dance emotes for characters such as Lucio with his jam skating, and Tracer's Charleston, Widowmaker's Ballet. Gotta say, her moves are on point. What? Soldier 76, however, might have all the tactical moves required to defend the payload, but when it comes to throwing shapes of the dance variety... Yes, unfortunately, as much as we love him and his healing biotic field, now please, I'm on very low health. Soldier 76 has a severe and incurable case of dad dancing. With his out of rhythm stomps and kicks as well as erratic arm swings, poor Soldy76 just can't compete with the boogie superpowers of some of his fellow Overwatchers, even the ones who hardly move at all. Sorry 76, I know it's a cliche but he's cool because he doesn't care. Whoa, whoa, hold. You mean to go in wearing that? What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. Geralt of the Witcher series is not a big fan of parties, but then to be fair, the last time he went to a feast, this happened. Hard to imagine a party going worse than that. Until that is, you see what Geralt gets up to at this next social function. It's a wedding which Geralt is attending with his friend Shani on a sort of date, but not really, but you kind of get the picture she would like it to be a date, but nobody is talking about it. In other words, it's already awkward before they even get to the door. Oh, and we forgot to mention, Geralt is possessed by a ghost. 
Specifically, a randy ghost called Vladimir, who for complicated plot reasons Geralt has to show a good time, which means this spectral lout seizes control of Geralt's mortal form for the day's partying, with the Witcher only able to watch helplessly as he flirts shamelessly with Shani, and worse, shaves off Geralt's precious beard. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. Oh god no, he's as smooth as a Henry Cavill! Vladimir, you monster! But if you thought that was the worst thing that could happen with a lusty phantasm in control of your body at a wedding, well, you haven't thought it through properly, because things only get more painfully awkward from there, especially once Geralt is introduced to the bride and groom. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings, the brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. And this is before the possessed Geralt has even got a drink in him. Go hell, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. But of course, what is a wedding without dancing? And much to everyone's surprise, the ghost of Vladimir proves quite light on his feet when the night's carousing ends with a couple's jig, perhaps because he's still doing his darndest to woo the slightly smitten Shani. <laughs> or perhaps he's very much following Shani's lead, because this quest also gives you the rare opportunity to see what happens when Geralt wanders onto the dance floor solo. Strap in, folks. If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig, nimble as a leopard. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. Years of Geralt's hard-earned street cred evaporate in moments as you realise that he dances like someone tried to explain flossing to their drunk uncle, but the uncle wasn't really paying attention. Whether this is Vladimir's ghost exercising full control over Geralt's limbs, or accessing the witch's own muscle memory from some previous dance is hard to know, but there must be some metaphysical explanation because surely nobody living or dead would dance like this on purpose. Maybe the beard would have sold it? But I guess we'll never know now, will we? Vladimir, you ghost bastard. There's the handoff. Much like becoming a dancer, becoming an assassin requires lots of precise movements, excellent timing, and cool outfits. Probably fewer sequins in assassinations, though. It turns out in Hitman Blood Money, Agent 47 has every need for dance skills in order to get close to his targets, but just has none. His salsa has no spice, his rock dancing makes him look like a long-lost Gallagher brother, and his reaction to blues music is less of a dance and more like watching someone dealing with severe back pain. But the worst dance by far can be found in the mission till death do us part. The whole experience is excruciating to watch, and that's before he's even started dancing. Oh, this is like me at every school dance I went to. Such fond memories. After what feels like eons, Agent 47 and his new dance partner finally kick into gear, performing a very haphazard dozy do style square dance as everyone else stands watching, perfectly still. This stillness only highlights his not-so-elegant moves and how he completely ignores when his partner goes in for an arm hook, forcing her to style it out. Yep, more school dance flashbacks. Yeah, why? The whole thing looks less like a fun jig and more like the one guy who has drunk too much moonshine at a hoedown and his stony face shows just how little Agent 47 is actually enjoying himself. It's a real shame as elsewhere in his career he does have some decent footwork, as shown by his perfect streak on the Hokkaido dance mat in Hitman 2016. Looks like his dancing took one step forward and two steps back. And then a step to the left and a step to the right. Spin on the spot and clap three times. So those were the heroes who can't dance. I mean, come on guys, it's easy. You just sort of like, you start like this, I think. Luke. And then you, with the hips, no. you move. It's even easy Stop in a chair. Ooh, ba -ba, and you no. pop an elbow. Ooh, ba -ba, ooh, ba -ba, ooh, ba -ba, ooh, ba -ba. See, now you're getting it. Double speed. Yeah, that's right. This is advanced lessons. 
Yeah, so it's easy, as you see. Um, but can you think of any other heroes who couldn't dance? If so, pop them in the comments. And we would love to, because we would love to see more examples. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, then guess what? We do a weekly community show, which is awesome. It's just us sat on the sofa and we chat, we chat about games and we do dumb quizzes and stuff. And it's really fun and it's a good time. And if you enjoyed this list, then I think you will love it. And it's called Show of the Weekend. It's right up here. Outside Xbox do one as well. It's called Show of the Week. Check those out and subscribe if you like this. Goodbye. Do, 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 up, 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 up.